Hi, I'm Rishi Vohra and I am the AMP September Author of the Month. This is Sushrita here, co-founder of The Amp. And I am Vikrant, co-founder of The Amp. And here I bring to you the rules of our upcoming contest. Here is rule number one. So we have a word limit to uh, any of the entries in our contest, which is 500 words, not a word more, not a word less. In either case, you will be eliminated. Now we have rule number two. Hmm. The language in which you can write or send in your entries for the story is English. 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 And we have rule number three. Make sure you send in your entries by the 20th of September, that is 20 September 2020. Don't forget. Oh, and rule number four. Let's not forget about that. Send in your entries to theamp6 at the rate gmail.com. That's T H E A M P, the number six at the rate gmail.com. You like to know the secret of my golden glow? That's because I'm going to tell you what is the golden rule of this contest. And that golden rule is... The theme for this month is the story of a picture. So think of any picture you've taken or any picture you can picture in your mind and write a story. The selection panel, which will decide uh, who will be the featured author for this month, will consist of myself, Sushilta, and the author of the month, who for this month is Rishi Vohra. Now, the winners uh, who uh, will get, uh, be featured in our magazine will get a chance to attend a workshop conducted by Rishi Vohra himself. So, guys, make this opportunity your own. We can't wait to see your articles, and uh, yeah, we're just excited. Uh, for your participation. Thank you. I look like I'm a picture or at least the film of a picture. So in the story of a picture, I really can't wait to read your entries. Come on guys, participate, send in your entries and can't wait to read all of them. Yay! <laughs> Going to 
very challenging times and during these times it's very important for all of us to keep it all together. So how do I stay sane? How do I keep it all together? What is my fortress of solitude? I make it a point to be either mentally or physically active at all times. So um, I'm either reading or I'm writing, I'm in conversations with people and that's how I try and stay mentally active. Physically active, I make it a point to exercise when I can or I stay busy around the house. And I think that this balance of being busy either mentally or physically is very important for our own balance, for our own sanity. For me, mental health is about balance. It's about mental balance. So we all get overwhelmed by emotions and uh, various thoughts that threaten to pull us in various directions. Mental balance or mental health is when we have a control over those emotions and we're able to observe it and to understand it and let it pass. But when those emotions, when those negative thoughts or those thoughts of depression threaten to overwhelm us and bring us down, that is when it can affect our mental health. So mental health is all about balance, where we are in control of our thoughts, of our emotions, rather than the other way around. If I was to use a metaphor to describe mental health or state of mind, I would look at um, a plate of food, um, a plate of food where all the food groups are represented. So you get your carbs, you get your proteins, you get all your food groups in one plate and that gives you a wholesome and complete meal. And for me, mental health is just like that where you have a complete balance. is um, a very joyful journey, I would say, but uh, it's also a very lonely journey because you thrust yourself into a very different world, you get into your characters and you are on a journey that nobody around you, be it your family members, your friends, people who are in touch with your everyday life are able to understand. So um, it gets a little difficult because you have to switch on and you have to switch off. So a lot of writers, after writing several books, are able to switch on and switch off, go from the writing journey to normal life and back. That for me was the biggest challenge of being a writer and now it is about you finding time because uh, in the times that we live in right now, silence is a luxury and we're able to write much better and put our thoughts down much better when we have silence. So for me now, silence is the biggest luxury and the biggest challenge. Along from being an author and a wine specialist and an MBA in sustainability, I manage you to juggle all of this with writing, firstly by doing your one thing at a time, uh, by being able to switch on and off when demanded. I used to work in the film industry and one thing that I learned over there was multitasking, that you have to be able to be on several different tracks at the same time and be able to switch from one track to the other. So uh, that experience, um, that um, work environment has kind of helped me to juggle my present life with the various demands that are required and I'm able to switch on from writing to, to wine to whatever it is that I need to do. So it's all about being able to switch on and off and to be able you know, to switch from one track to the other.
the way when we're not feeling well, we go and visit a doctor. The same way it's okay to visit a mental health professional when we feel some imbalance happening mentally. And to break that stigma towards visiting a mental health professional, I think that mental health professionals themselves need to come out and uh, make themselves more approachable. Uh, they should reach out to people and uh, give them information, educate them on what they're all about through social media, through whatever avenues that they have accessible to them. They need to talk to people and tell them what they're all about and how visiting a mental health professional um, can really help them in their own well-being. So I believe that mental health professionals you should come out and uh, state real life cases, how they have helped people and that would give people your confidence and understanding that how visiting a mental health professional could be really beneficial towards them. The most fascinating thing that I find about my mind, or any mind for that matter, is the number of thoughts that bombard us on a day-to-day -day basis. Thousands and thousands of thoughts just come from nowhere and uh, keep our mind really, really active. And that's why I think that it's very important for us to keep ourselves mentally active so that we don't let you those negative thoughts um, get in, dwell, stay and push us in that zone. So I find that really fascinating is that um, the mind has a mind of its own. As a member of the selection panel, what I would be looking out for in stories is how effectively the author is able to connect to the reader through his or her words. Now there is a word count, there is a, a word limit. So that is going to be quite a challenge for the authors. Not a tough challenge, but to be able to get your thoughts out in so many words and be able to make the reader feel something, even if it's a slight smile, even if it's, you know, anything. But a person after reading a story should not feel the same. There should be something different that the author feels before and after reading a story. So it's all about connection.